Hello, welcome to my taxation tutorials. Uh, my name's Philip, and I'll be uh, getting through a few tutorials with you on various taxation matters uh, that creep up and that attract attention of not only taxpayers, uh, but the uh, tax office as well. Now, this session will discuss personal services income. Now, what's personal services income? You might say, well, I mean, it's income from personal services and that's it. Well, it's not that very simple. Now, you may uh, you may not be able to distinguish uh, properly between personal services and business income, which are two totally different things. Uh, be, well, we know business income is income that comes to you from uh, having a, a ABN registered in your name or in, in the name of a company, and your income comes from a wide range of sources or from uh, a, a number of sources, and you include this income uh, in your ABN, you provide a tax invoice, and uh, the income comes to you uh, normally. So that's what we call uh, business income. But... Personal services income. Uh, well, the ATO has uh, specified that income is classified as personal services income when more than 50% of the amount you received for a contract was for your labor, skills or expertise. So let's say you wrote a book and you want to publish it out there to uh, a lot of publishers and uh, it gets published and a lot of customers buy your book and you receive income from that. Well, that would be classified as personal services income. Uh, you don't have an Australian business number. Uh, and in fact, uh, the income that you generated or derived was uh, for your labor skills and expertise uh, that you used in order to write the book and to complete the book. And uh, chances are uh, goods and services tax uh, do not apply as well uh, if it's personal services income. Now, how do you work out whether you've received personal services income? There's four steps that you need to determine. Uh, step one, and that's in your tax return under the business uh, section. Uh, obviously, your accountants and your tax agent will know how to uh, fill these things in for you and will guide you on that. So uh, what, what percentage of income uh, from each contract was for your labor, skills, knowledge or expertise uh, or efforts to the services that you provided? Uh, and anything else, uh, such as materials supplied or tools and equipment that you've had to use to complete the project, if you've had to use your own, uh, and if more than 50% of the income received uh, was, you know, for your labor and skills and expertise, then chances are uh, the income that you derived, let's say from writing and publishing the book, uh, would be personal services income. So that's step number one. Step number two is uh, what we call a results test. Uh, so there's a uh, number of uh, issues uh, with this. Uh, now, all this is available on the uh, tax office website with some examples uh, in uh, assisting you whether uh, to um, whether income that you received are personal services. Uh, so to pass a results test, uh, you need to meet some conditions. Uh, for example, so one of the conditions, the following conditions are, you are paid to produce a specific result. You are required to provide the equipment or tools, and you are required to fix mistakes at your own costs. So let's take the example of you publishing uh, your own book. So you are producing a specific result, the end result is that uh, customers or consumers uh, in general will go out and purchase your book, whether it's an ebook or whether it's a paper or hardback. Now, the other step that's required is uh, that you uh, are required to provide their equipment or tools. Now, if someone else, uh, for example, if you work at a company uh, and you that's your normal job, then it won't be personal services income in the first place. 
But if you are required to provide the equipment or tools uh, to publish your book, so for example, a computer, a laptop, uh, all sorts of things, uh, that's why another condition that you need to meet. The third condition that you need to meet is that you're required to fix mistakes at your own costs. So let's say you've published your book and you found some mistakes and that you need to fix it. Uh, it's at your own cost and not the cost of the uh, publisher. So uh, now the other thing is if you work through an agency uh, like a hire firm and more than 25% of your personal services income came from that, uh, you won't likely pass a results test. Now, the next step is the uh, what you would have heard as the 80% rule. Now, for this step to kick in, uh, the uh, personal services income, uh, you need to... Um, you need to uh, look at whether 80% or more uh, comes from one client or comes from one customer. So if 80% or more of your personal services income comes from one client, uh, including their associates, uh, and you believe you, you will pass the employment test, uh, usually or the business premises test, uh, that means that you have passed the 80% test. So then the next step, uh, if you haven't passed that test, uh, there's another step, which is the remaining tests. So there's an unrelated clients test and there's an employment test. And that's if uh, your results at step three, which is an 80% rule, uh, is less than 80%. Now, if none of these steps apply to you, then there's no personal services income that you've received it will be treated as either normal income or as business income. But please, this is just purely educational. See your professional accountant or tax agent for more help and guidance as to whether you have indeed received uh, income from personal services or whether it's just plain business income.